The Mongols have been in the grip of a bitter power struggle with notorious bikey enforcer Nick the Knife Forbes out of jail and ruling from Queensland with an iron fist. Yeah, so what's, what's the going with Nick the Knife? Yeah, so um, basically Nick the Knife, um, while he was in jail and on parole, he, he sort of handed over to, uh, to a lieutenant by the name of uh, Little Ty Bell, um, who he was very close to obviously in the gang. Um, and now that he's out of jail, he's you know, reasserting his authority and um, flexing his muscle again. Basically um, ruling with an iron fist now, he's, he's booting people out of the gang. Once Nick the Knife Forbes got out of jail and started flexing his muscle again, we quickly saw a succession of uh, high profile Mongols members either leave the gang voluntarily or booted out, depending on who you listen to. Um, so we had uh, the insta-famous Toby Mitchell, uh, I think he has like something like 400,000 Instagram followers. Uh, then we had kickboxer Sam the Punisher Abdul Rahim. Uh, we had Mark Balsili and also Jason Addison. And these were all very high profile Mongols gang members based in Melbourne. 